Hey, Trucked Up guys and gals. I've been saying it for over a year and a half, and I've been called a lot of interesting things for stepping on some people's concepts of what is needed in an electric pickup truck. And I continue to stand by the simple facts that all the range, charging speeds, functionality, weight reduction is going to arrive so fast that things like uh, complex and over-engineered e-rev solutions will be obsolete before they actually make it to market or only shortly thereafter, quickly becoming antiquated tech. As many of you pointed out in, in the comment section of my last video, where I placed the demise of the F-150 Lightning squarely on the shoulders of the blue oval of Ford corporate bungling its success, viewers talked of a breakthrough announcement a mass market ready solid state battery that was no longer fiction, but production fact. What many might not know is a Chinese manufacturer already got there in late 2025, but not with as impressive of numbers as what this new breakthrough is now claiming. In either case, the reality is this, a new race has begun and the EV truck is about to change in ways no one could have even imagined a year ago. So get ready to charge up to full in simply minutes and go the whole distance. Let's go get totally trucked up. Okay, I have a backlog of videos to get to and I'm racing along as quickly as I can to bring you all this breaking content, but it's only me. And I'm hoping that I can get to a place where I can actually get extra help. So please consider a super thanks donation or become a Patreon or YouTube member so I can start looking for a part-time editor, something that is currently impossible for me to afford. Every penny helps, so thank you in advance. And, and speaking of advance, by becoming a member, either YouTube or Patreon, you get advanced access to all of my videos. And for those members who sign up, one exclusive membership video every single month, if I can ever get to the freaking things. So much for that uh, optional sleep I was looking forward to. Okay, anyway, the company that we're talking about today is Donut Labs, for those of you who haven't heard all the headlines. A Finnish e-mobility tech company with its headquarters in the Helsinki region. The claims for their solid state battery are truly insane, man. I mean, they're going far beyond what other dedicated solid state startups like QuantumScape, Solid Power, Factorial Energy, Prologium, I believe, technology, and I think one called Elika, what they've targeted. But the fact that we've heard nothing about this company outside of their revolutionary new EV motors until now instantly raises my big ass vaporware alert. You know, we had all the SPAC crap. We had all the great EV breakthrough startups back in the late 29, you know, 2010s and into the early 2020s. That didn't go too well. It was basically the dot-com scenario. So I'm a little wary. And I think we might be experiencing some of that on the, the solid state. And we've constantly heard it's just around the corner. It's next year. It's a year after, after that, et cetera, et cetera. But Here's the thing, Donut Labs is a subsidiary of Verge Motorcycles that will be putting these batteries into every one of their products starting now. So yeah, that sounds a little more legit already, but whether or not the battery or the company survives long enough to ramp this stuff up to that kind of scale for the global market that will be knocking down its doors if this proves as capable and mind-blowing as Donut Labs claims. We're here. That's what's important. We're here. We've arrived. The solid state nut has been cracked and there's no turning back. So before we dive into the actual claims, know that besides the startup companies I just mentioned, the big players already have a lot of skin in the game here. They know what's at stake. If you recall in my video on my next uh, new EV truck purchase finalists, I mentioned Toyota. I believe their solid state tech is just about ready for prime time. And it will leapfrog everyone if, it, it's, if it's there with a solid state lineup before 2030, probably including an EV truck. Now I'm thinking I might have been too conservative on that timeline. And if anyone thinks the largest battery maker on earth, CATL, will we'll take all this lying down, you're freaking dreaming. And remember, 
I mentioned that a Chinese automaker already beat Donut Labs to the punch, right? That company's called Dong Fang Motors, and it announced plans in late 2025 to launch a mass-produced EV with high-density solid-state batteries, or SSBs. Oh yeah, you know the tech bros and the people in the lab coats couldn't just help they couldn't help themselves. And we've got another an acronym. They're all promising the vehicle launch over Dongfeng uh, in 2026 with over 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles of range and ultra-fast charging. It's now shifted that schedule to early 2027, you know, 2027 launch, which, you know, what's new, for full deployment, with the initial tech now aiming for 350 watt-hours per kilogram energy density, which is still almost double what everything else is. And it's gonna be supporting 1200 volt architecture for rapid charging and, and achieving high performance in extreme cold and heat tests. But it seems now that, you know, it's been delayed on its mass production by several months at the minimum. Whereas Donut Labs is moving ahead uh, right bloody now. How is it going to make all those batteries? I don't have a clue. Does it have enough financing in place? Who knows? Is it already working behind the scenes with OEMs and there just hasn't been any public announcement yet? Well, you're, you're asking me? But let's get to why most of these questions simply don't matter anymore. It is because Donut Labs has already tested, validated, and is implementing production, mass production, in the Verge motorcycles with the following specs. You ready? It has a battery density of 400 watt hours per kilogram. That's double lithium ion. This is what I've been saying will end the internal combustion truck within a decade. I did this video only a freaking month ago and look where we're at. Think about what this means. That's twice the energy for the same weight. Take Ford's stupid fumble on the lightning, for example. Had they kept it up for another two years and thrown these babies in it? That's 640 miles of range for the same weight as it has today. Just let that sink in. But the insanity is only just getting started, folks. What is always the biggest setback to all these pie-in-the-sky claims? It's price. But Donut Labs has outright stated that their batteries cost less right now than any lithium ion battery on the market today. So again, let's use an EV truck from today as an example. Let's use the Silverado EV Max range. Based on just these two specs, GM could go one of two ways if they adopted these batteries. One, reduce the battery weight by 50% and offer the same range while reducing cost by 50% or keep the weight and price the same and exceed 900 miles of range or 500 miles towing. Have your synapses started to melt yet? Uh, well, uh, you better find the Motrin extra strength if they have and call your doctor because what comes next might cause your brain to explode. You can charge in five minutes. Oh yeah, and you can do it from 0% to 100% or whatever you like with no ill effects at all on the battery. That's right. You can now fill your EV as fast as a gas tank, and you can do it for as long as you own the vehicle. And that is going to be a very long time. Think about the residual value of an EV where the battery doesn't degrade for years and years. Think I'm full of fecal matter? Well, most of my family and friends they say that I am, and, and they say I don't bathe enough. But anyway, I sure thought the same about uh, Donut Labs claims until the testing verified the statement. And the statement is this. The average life cycle of a lithium ion battery is somewhere between 2,000 and 4,000 cycles, depending on the chemistry. Donut Labs solid state batteries have a cycle life of 100,000. If all of this holds true in real world applications, there is nothing left for the internal combustion engine. These will outlast the longest lasting vehicles ever produced. And I keep coming back to the alarms going off in my head, the, the voice screaming in my ears. This is a scam. Uh, this has to be a scam. Could this even be real? But Donut Labs seems to want to test this to the limit, to challenge the entire world, to challenge it, to try and prove it wrong. 
and it's done it again with temperature validation. Their battery retains 99% of its output at minus 30 degrees Celsius, and it does it again at plus 100 degrees Celsius. That's 200 degrees Fahrenheit, people. No other battery has ever achieved this. This is the reality of the stability and the safety of solid state and why it has been chased for well over a decade as the holy grail of battery technology. And it further reduces mountains of cost by being incredibly safe. Let's get to that. There's no flammable electrolytes in the solid state and therefore no thermal risk. Think about this from a thermal battery management perspective. This guts yet another massive layer of complexity and cost from the EV platform. What this creates is an opportunity where EVs no longer have to support massive uh, you know, manufacturing plants and huge startup costs. Along with its operating system, motors and batteries, the entire vertically integrated Donut Labs platform is basically plug and play, meaning so many more competitive options just became a reality. If this all proves true, and, and I can't, I really can't turn off the blasting sirens that say there's no fucking way. Every single OEM just got put on notice, including every EV automaker. The light speed of change is here, and the existing legacy players will either try to kill this and bury it, or do everything in its power to slow it down or adapt at a pace never before seen in the automotive space if they ever hope to survive. I was recently asked uh, by uh, many concerned viewers on the channel if I felt EV trucks were on their way out for a while after the, the lightning announcement, and that we might experience like a lost decade where hybrids and e-revs dominate and EV trucks are dumped as an a uh, non-profitable, you know, unprofitable failed experiment. My answer was full of hope and optimism. We are at the cusp of the electrification of everything, the end to waste and inefficiencies in the world of transportation. And I am so excited about what's coming. I have faith that efficiency, technology, know-how, and the brilliance of human innovation cannot and will not be thwarted. The age of the oil barons is coming to an end. We just don't know how fast yet. But know this, behind the scenes, there is a tidal wave of disruption, a shaking of the foundations, unlike anything the auto sector has ever experienced. And it is happening in real time. Toyota, VW, Honda, Tesla, Ford, GM, and every Chinese, Japanese, and Korean automaker and battery manufacturer are feverishly racing against each other to win the solid state race. Donut Labs just made them all hit the gas. If you think this is all a load of you-know-what, I want to hear about it. But I want you to prove that it's a big pile of you-know-what. If you think this is the moment we've all been waiting for, or I've missed a big piece or a whole bunch of important details here, start typing away in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.